Well, good morning reselling friends or whatever time you're watching this. My name is Sarah. I'm a part-time reseller and a full-time mom. I also work a full-time job. And today is Sunday, meaning here in Southern Ohio, it is 99 cent tag of the week, day, whatever we want to call this. Um, Sundays are a great day to try to stack up on inventory because for me the bins are over an hour and a half away. So I'm saving gas money and saving time by just going to local Goodwills. First up though, I am going to stop at my booth. I have a local spot. It kind of runs itself. I just have to keep it stocked. And I have about, I don't know, 10 items or so I found last week that are tagged up and ready to go. And then I'm going to head to the next town over and get some thrifting done. So if you're new, welcome to my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like this video. All right, guys. I have not been to this Goodwill over past my booth in probably six months. What a total flop, okay? Everything in there was... Let me make sure the radio don't turn on you. Everything in there was marked up so ridiculous. Like, even basic Adidas t-shirts were like $9. Just... Had a very hard time finding anything, but I drove all the way over here. I did end up with two things I'll show you, but I cannot wait until after basketball practice to head back to the normal place I go to. Um, first up was this Express Portofino shirt. These have a very good uh, sell-through rate, and the print on this was cute. And then I got these for $9.19. Sense. It's a pair of Nike canvas shoes. And I thought these were pretty cute. Comps on these were like 40 to 60 bucks. So worth the $9.19. But that's all I found so far. So headed to basketball. Let's see what we can find at the next thrift store back at our regular spot this afternoon. All right, it's later in the day. Basketball went well. He's only in third grade, so they don't keep score or anything, but our little guy did pretty good today. So I'm at the tried and true Goodwill that I normally shop at on Dollar Day on Sundays. It is 3.30 though and they close at 6, so it may be another speed round. Not anything like what it was for lunch the other day, but I'm going to have to hurry. I don't want to make them stay late or anything. I'm not one of those people. So let's see what we can find at Goodwill number two. And I'm back home. Dinner is done. Kids are upstairs getting showered for the school week. And my usual thrift store was pretty good to me again today. I, however, I'm just pulling out the items that I already showed you from the first one. I stopped at my local spot and I'm not sure that it's worth the investment right now. Um, my booth rent for two spaces is $220 a month. And I'm looking at the calendar going, hey, it's Sunday, November 12th. And according to them, I've sold $12. So I'm not even close to covering rent this month. And if that becomes a trend, even through the holidays, I may consider my time is more valuable than coming over there to restock once a week, you know, and then extra thrifting on top of that. And after rent, I only make $50 to $100 most months. Like, is that worth my time? I don't know that it is anymore. Then the question becomes, what am I doing with all that stuff in there? So, I don't know. Just something I was thinking about today. But, you guys, I got a huge bag. <laughs> a huge bag of stuff from the Goodwill. The red tag for $0.99. Cents. Pants and pajamas were the top categories today. So first up, I saw these cute little pajama pants, kind of wide leg. These can sell anywhere from $30 to $40. The brand is Nick and Nora. I have sold a set by this brand before. But these pants are really cute and I'll sell those myself. Those were $4.89. Then another pair of pajamas. They're kind of silky, but they're not silk. It's Victoria's Secret. So I thought plaid for the holidays. And these were $5.49. And they're a size large, so shirt and pants. Probably $25 to $35. <clears throat> Then I found a new with tags, women's pair of Carhartt pants, size 14, so a good size. 
And I saw a recent comp for $29.99. Then I found a pair of Duluth Trading Company leggings. This brand does well for me. I've never found the leggings before, but we're going to give it a shot. Maybe 15 to 20 this brand's been doing awesome so bolo alert meaning be on the lookout judy blues size nine boyfriend i sold two pairs of these recently super fast in less than a week for about 25 dollars <clears throat> had to pick those up all right then i was going through sweaters tell me what you guys think about this um these are not sweaters these are rompers this is free people beach and they are ribbed, Henley style, long sleeve, balloon sleeve, but it's shorts on the bottom. I did a quick search. I have no idea what these are going to go for. I think that Free People Beach does better than actual Free People because Free People is kind of oversaturated. And I found not one, but two. So, I mean, these were probably anywhere from $60 to $80 new. So, I don't know, 35 to 45 <clears throat> And I saw quite a few comps, around $40 for this brand. The brand is Hill Flint. This is an extra small sweater for Kansas State and as new with the tags. This I've just picked up on style. I'm probably just going to list it for around $20. Um, so size small, max apparel. I don't know. That's a really cute kind of shacket. All the sweaters are $4.89. I did find another pair of shoes. These are so stinking cute. Paid $7.99 for these Toms, size 6. And they're Sherpa aligned. And they have Christmas cats on them. Very, very cute and really good condition, too, like barely worn. So these will probably be listed for 25 to 30. Uh, let's get into some of my dollar stuff. I tried to only pick up things that I would take to consignment, like Plato's Closet, instead of my local spot, since I'm kind of hee-hawing around with what I'm going to do. I'm sure that they will take these if my daughter doesn't. It's a pair of can can jeans size five for 26 and i got these for a dollar so i have tried to list these for 20 dollars. i think they're just kind of fizzling out but i'll probably make four or five dollars at consignment i found this universal thread which is target brand new with tag sweater kind of boxy cropped for consignment that was a dollar. This I'm gonna sell myself. Thought this was kind of cool. This is a Pendleton extra large, like turtleneck. But look at the print on this. Cotton. I don't know. It could look cute. I have a pair of flare dark wash jeans. Got this for a dollar. Can't beat that. If it doesn't work for me, then I'll sell it. And I found a similar print. This is Sonoma. This is sold by Kohl's for 99 cents. And then this, another Kohl's brand, I think, L. <clears throat> Cute little gray sweater with some bell sleeves on it. This was also 99 cents. So I spent around $74 on everything I bought today, including the stuff from earlier, the Portofino shirt. Definitely more stuff to list myself. I am feeling really behind. Uh, I need to wash uniforms for work. And I'm going to try to photograph some stuff like I did last week. I photographed and had everything listed by Sunday evening. And I just don't know that it's going to happen. So, good thing is I have a light work week. I do have Tuesday off and I'm wanting to spend it with my husband instead of working. So, we will see. But that is everything I got at the thrift. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. Again, make sure you like and subscribe on your way out. And I'll catch you guys again next time. See ya.